Welcome back. Joining me now in the Daytime Buffalo studio is the O'Sullivan brothers, Owen and Michael, and violinist, nonprofit leader, and educator, Yuki Numana. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Chelsea. Thank you, it's great Chelsea. to be back. It's great to have you guys back. You guys might have remembered them around St. Patrick's Day. We had you coming in. Uh, you sang and performed that lovely song. And you guys are back again to talk about another upcoming performance happening tonight. Why don't you tell us about it? That's right. Yeah, well, it's a, it, it's a culmination of a collaboration with the Buffalo Chamber Players, mm -hmm. which are one of the city's most... Uh, uh, brilliant classical ensembles and so this is a collection of Irish traditional songs set for classical ensemble oh, wow. but what's interesting about this is we're also focusing on one of Buffalo's greatest songwriters and most famous entertainers of his day called Chauncey Alcott yes and Chauncey was one of the most famous entertainers in his day and wrote all of these amazing Irish American songs that we still sing today we sang one of them last time we were here yes when Irish eyes are smiling mm -hmm. and he wrote all these other hits that people know as well too and uh, but what people aren't so familiar with is at the time the Irish American community was very much looked down upon by the establishment sort of Protestant Anglo class in America and the Irish community were uh, uh, you know um, there to to do all the dirty the dirty jobs uh, of the time and th they were presented that way on stage mm. and so Chauncey's mission was to change how the Irish were portrayed on stage so and how he did it was he wrote his own plays, produced his own plays, directed them and starred in them. Oh wow. And he would present himself as the hero, as an Irish American Irish hero in mm -hmm. the plays. And so he transformed how the Irish were viewed in America at the time. And so one of the things we're doing, we have the concert tonight and tomorrow there's a panel discussion talking about how the arts, how culture can break down barriers between people and actually create a new sense of community, a new sense of home. Uh, in in our world today that the arts can do that nothing else can do yeah mm. yeah so this is truly just a celebration of cultures coming together why don't you tell me more about I know you're like kind of leading this Yuki yeah absolutely so you know I've spent nearly four decades now playing the violin and kind of through that thinking a lot about why do we do this and what is our role as musicians and in, in kind of our greater society and so I think as I've come to be thinking more about it it's really this idea of a sense of belonging and this sense of unity the way that music can bring people of different cultures together and you know and I saw that firsthand through my work at Buffalo String Works which is an organization originally formed really serving the refugee and immigrant communities and then kind of broader expansion to really kind of serve our historically marginalized communities in Buffalo. And then now in my role as Director of Arts and Culture at the Community Foundation for Greater Buffalo, thinking about kind of our eight regions of Western New York and how does arts and culture knit us together. You know, I think we live in such polarizing times mm -hmm. and we're not quite sure what's next for all of us as a community. And so can the arts play a role in kind of breaking down those barriers, a sense of understanding amongst all of us. Absolutely. Michael, when and where is this happening? The concert is tonight in Asbury Hall in Babeville at 7 p.m. And Chelsea, it's going to be like traveling back in time to <laughs> Chauncey Alcott's day. Okay. Uh, it's going to be uh, an eight-piece string and wind ensemble, uh, two voices. Um, there might be a microphone there. But it's, uh, <laughs> It's yeah. the amazing venue there in uh, uh, in in Babeville, yeah, and beautiful we're, hall. We're singing an Irish traditional song and three of Chauncey's big hits. Owen sang, "When Irish eyes are smiling, short is like a morning spring." There's another one. It'll send you to sleep. Tura lura lura, tura lura light is an Irish lullaby. Uh -huh. uh, it sounds very similar to "When Irish Eyes," which is a, a pop hit. And um, <laughs> then the third one is this was his massive hit this back in it. early 19. Yeah. My wild Irish rose, the sweetest flower that grows. You may search everywhere, but none can compare with my wild Irish rose. It was a big, massive. He was like the Michael Jackson of his time. He was, oh, and huge. he was from wow. Buffalo. He was from here, you know, and Irish people were sing still these songs. singing these songs 120 years later. Yeah, wow. and he's a, really a character that 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 the city should be so proud of. Yeah, well, like John McCormack is the very, very famous Irish singer. Like Chauncey was the original John. McCormack 
McCormick just before recorded mm -hmm. sound came in. He was a huge deal. And um, in Ireland, we love those songs and nobody knows that he's from Buffalo. So wow. to sing these songs in this place, it's we call huge. the concert When Buffalo Eyes Are Smiling so that we can uh, just invite everybody in and break down barriers. Uh, everyone can be Irish for a day or no. <laughs> And it's not All even right. Patrick's Day. So. And it's not even St. Patrick's Day. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in and, and bringing light to this incredible figure out of Buffalo. Viewers, again, when Buffalo eyes are smiling, songs and stories of migration, beauty, and belonging in Buffalo is tonight at 7 over at Asbury Hall. For tickets and more information, just head over to BayvilleBuffalo.com. Thank you guys so thank much you for Chelsea. coming in. Always thank a pleasure. You, thank you.